The ML Born Community Service Center is unique. It delivers a broad spectrum of behavioral health care services to a culturally diverse range of clients, from preschoolers to senior citizens. Many of these clients live in poverty and are described as the working poor or on public assistance struggling to find a way to develop a better lifestyle. Through the array of services at the center, clients learn to develop self-confidence and better manage their lives. This is who we serve. Individuals and families suffering from social and mental challenges often caused or exacerbated by lack of economic resources. Preschool children with emotional or learning difficulties. We also serve families with children or relatives who are mentally ill or addicted, senior citizens who are depressed or isolated, and needing assistance with independent living. Formerly homeless individuals and families who need psychiatric and social services, indigenous families and individuals in the community are, who are in need of emergency food services. When Angel began the program, uh, she had been placed with her foster parent. Um, coming from an environment of extreme trauma, she had latched out at adults and children. Uh, she had tantrums that lasted for up to 45 minutes. She had no language and she had undevelopmental cognitive skills. We wanted to provide her with uh, a safe and consistent environment where all of her skills and our talents will emerge and Today, Angel has been legally adopted by her wonderful foster parents. She excels cognitively, she speaks well and is feeling much more secure than she had been before. Uh, she's going to a less restricted environment, which she will share with children without special needs. I want to be to school. Okay. My name is Robbie Crawford, I'm 67 years old. I came up on in 1989. I was hallucinating due to drugs and visual hallucination. I was three years on the street before I got help. I went to day treatment first. I graduated to the Rainbow. I graduated to AOPD. Now I'm in elderly. I still hallucinate once in a while. I still have visual hallucinations. Thanks to Upper Manhattan. I've been working here for over 20 years as a peer advocate. Angel, our preschooler, and Robert are just two of our success stories who have overcome their problems of living. All of our clients need your support.